All right, so here we are today. We're gonna to do another unboxing and a little bit of a tutorial on a product called the iEgro F8S Plus. And what this is, is it's basically a hard case with a backlit keyboard for your iPad Air 2. Okay, we saw a lot about this, a lot of comments on the internet, but there really weren't any videos, so we're gonna do a video. One of the important parts is, is once your iPad clicks in, there's a lot of complaints that it was hard to get the iPad back out, but with just a little bit of a trick, I'll show you that it's not that big a deal to get it out. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed. It comes in a little bubble wrap, cardboard box with a slide. Let's get that slide taken off there. Nice packaging. You see that it comes with a little pen or stylus, some instructions, plastic screen protector, some additional padding, and a clamshell case and plastic. Now my wife told me to say, make sure that I tell them that it's pretty, okay? So it's pretty. And you'll see here that it, it, it feels good in the hand. It feels like a, it's a nice solid type polymer type plastic. And you can see here that it has all the appropriate holes for the headphones, the charger, the speakers at the bottom. It fits the iPad Air 2 perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and open the clamshell. You'll see that there's a protective layer of foam in between. And you'll see here, you've got your backlit uh, keyboard. And now we're gonna show what it looks like to pop the iPad So here we have the iPad Air 2. And I'm just gonna show you how to click it in here. It's really, really simple. You start by putting the bottom in and getting it started so that it's uh, inside the, the plastic lip. You'll see the power buttons to the right and that the headphone jack is to the left. Now you'll notice as I put it in, I'm just gonna push it with my two thumbs and you'll hear it click in. Literally, it's that simple to install the iPad into the clamshell case. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to connect the keyboard to the iPad Air 2. First of all, go to here, hit settings. Then you're gonna hit Bluetooth. And you're gonna see that over here on the right, it's gonna list the Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. We're going to hit connect. All right. And then down here on the keyboard, uh, if you can also hit FN and hit the C key and it will connect. Okay, either way, but you'll notice here now it's connected. So I'm going to demonstrate how to turn up the lights on the backlit keyboard. Basically hit this light bulb key and if you hit it again sequentially it's going to get brighter until it turns off. So let's go ahead and turn it to its brightest stage. Now the next key over if you want to change the color, if you like blue or green, red, and there's a lighter blue, pink, pink, kind of a lime green, and back to white. There's your choices for backlit. So just wanted to demonstrate a little bit about the keyboard here. It's uh, It's got a really nice tactile click to the keys, but also once this thing's uh, tethered to your iPad, you've got great functionality here. I'll just show you a couple things. You can hit the keyboard key, in case you want to use the keyboard on your screen. Uh, you have all the multimedia keys here uh, for stopping or pausing your video, volume up and down, all the things that you would expect from a laptop computer. So one of the biggest things that are a complaint that you'll hear in the comments on this product is that it's very, very difficult to get your iPad back out of this. And I'm finding that with just a little bit of practice, it's really not that big a deal. What you want to do is notice here uh, on the top left where you have your volume buttons. What you're going to do is take your thumbnail and just pull that back a little bit, keeping the door, uh, the top closed just a little bit so you don't break the iPad. Again, this is finesse and gentle. You don't want to be too hard with it. But basically, we're going to pull that back just a little bit, forming a crack. And then we're going to put just a, a library card or a um, basically a credit card or library card in the crack. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently push this in and slide it down the line. And you'll see that the iPad comes right out. 
And there you can see that the iPad comes right out. So no problem with removing it. No damage, no problem. Now I don't know if you noticed the clear bumpers that were put on the bottom here. I just wanted to note that my beautiful wife thought of this. These are just standard clear plastic bumpers that have a self-adhesive and we bought these separately, peeled them off the back of here and stuck them on the four corners of the back of the iPad. And basically the reason for that is it gives it this nice non or you know not in a grippy feeling when you put it on a surface it doesn't slide around as much so you know once you open this thing and you know you're working on it you know it's, it kind of stays put better with these rubber bumpers on it the product also comes with a screen protector and some wet naps here it's very important to clean the surface of your iPad thoroughly before you put the screen protector on it has these nice uh, tabs here that will help you peel off the screen protector. And then basically you would start on one end and then bend it and apply it smoothly. And we didn't choose to put the screen protector on, but if you do, it does come with that. So this has been the IE Grow F8S Plus for the iPad Air 2. Remember, click the links in the description and it'll take you right to Amazon so that you can get this product or any similar product made by IE Grow. But uh, just wanted to show you what this looked like and hopefully this will help you out when you're making your choice for a clamshell case and keyboard.